Discord has this new notifications beta, which is genuinely awesome and you have to try it. So I'm gonna show you how to get it, the three benefits of this new notification system, and finally, how to go back to the old notifications if you have a whacking frontal lobe and cannot comprehend what is going on. So first, how do we get this new notification system? Well, if you were blessed by the Discord gods, you might have it already pop up in your Discord. If you restarted Discord and you got this pop up, congratulations, you can skip to the next chapter in the YouTube video. But Discord hates me and will cast a curse upon my whole entire bloodline for the rest of eternity, so I have to get this manually, and you might have to as well. So to get this new notifications beta, we are going to use Vencord, which is a client modification, and yes, it does go against Discord's terms of service. But here's the thing, you won't get banned because Discord kind of just pretends that Vencord doesn't exist, so nerds like myself don't get angry. Now I'll have the Vencord website linked in the description, but we want to click on download Vencord. Now, we have a couple options. We could download it for Windows, which is completely fine, but if you're lazy like me, we can download it for the browser because it's a whole heck of a lot easier and it's very simple. So just click on available in the web store and kaboom, it should open up the Chrome web store and you just want to add it to your Chrome. Now the reason why I tell you to use the browser version is that once you enable this experimental notifications feature, you don't need to have Vencord anymore. You can just remove it and things will work all hunky-dory. But once you add it to Chrome and you go into Discord, you might need to refresh your page. And once you do that, if you go to your user settings and you scroll all the way down, you should see this Vencord section. You wanna click on plugins and then we need to search for a specific plugin. We are going to search for experiments and we need to enable it. Now, when you enable it, it will tell you to restart. In this case, I've already done it. Cooking show magic, baby. But once you restart Discord, you go back into your settings and you should see this experiments tab here. Click on this bad boy and we now need to add an experiment. Now, Vencord's gonna tell you, yeah, 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 who cares? If I'm telling you how to do this thing, you're fine. And also I'll tell you how this thing is basically risk-free in a little bit. But what you wanna search for is gray dot. And then what you need to do is you need to select treat Treatment 2. And then what we need to do is we need to scroll all the way up. Oh, where is it? I've lost it. To notifications. Now in your notifications, you should see this new unread setting. When you enable this toggle, you get this pop-up. Now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your new Discord notifications. And this sounds like a big grandiose entrance because it is. This thing's awesome. Now, thankfully for me, I don't have to do a whole lot of video editing because Discord shows you the difference between the old notification system where you'll get a whole bunch of white dots everywhere and the new notification system where white dots are disappeared and you have these new de-emphasized gray dots. I know this is already not making sense, but I'll make it a lot clearer with examples later on. But in this pop-up, you want to click try it out. Now, the first benefit of this feature is that most of you have like 500 notifications on your Discord because you're in 500 e-girl servers that you can't escape because you're super lonely and depressed or something. I don't know. But with this pop-up, it allows you to mass edit your notification settings. Because when you select a server in this, what you do is you actually actually make it where you're only notified for important channels and mentions, which will make more sense later. But I do want to make it clear that this pop-up only shows up once. So if you want to mass edit your notifications, this is your one and only chance. Now this feature sounds a little bit risky. Are there any risks with it? Well, actually there's none because it'll back up your old notification settings. If I click on next, you will see that I have this page of create new backup. Now, if this is your first time looking at this notifications page, you will not see this pop-up, but considering I messed up recording this video enough times to put a hole through my drywall, it'll ask if you want to take a new backup or if you want to skip a backup. So that means if you don't want to use this feature, you can always go back to how your system was beforehand. Good job, Discord. Anyways, I'm going to take a new backup. Now it tells you how to change your server and channel notifications, but it's not a very good representation. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So click on close, click on escape, and now let's change the notifications of a server. So what you want to do is you want to click on the drop down of a server and go down to notification settings. Now you will get this absolutely gargantuan gantuan pop-up. And the most important thing is in the center part here, notification presets. Now this is where we get to the second and the biggest benefit of this new notification changes is that you can have customization up the wazoo. Now I'm going to go through the basic options just to dip your toes in the water. Now the first preset is all messages. And this is exactly how Discord is right now without this beta, where you get a notification and you get this little white dot for every single message in a server. But you can change the server's notification presets to at mentions where if someone sends a message that isn't pinging you, it'll show this gray dot. That's why it's called the gray dot experiment. But if someone mentions you, whether it be through your role or through your username, then you will see this normal white dot that we're used to and the ping symbol. And you'll also get a notification when you get pinged. 
And finally, there is this nothing preset. Now, if I flick between these two, you'll notice that there's really no change except for nothing. You get no notifications whatsoever. Now, finally, with custom, as the name implies, you can do whatever the heck you want. For example, if you want to get all these white dots when people send you a message, but you only want to get a notification when you're mentioned, you can do that. You can basically mix and match to your heart's content. So those are the basic settings that you can change, but you also have your normal advanced settings where you can suppress everyone in here, mentions, highlights, new events, and mobile push notifications. But there's one final advanced feature, which are channel notification overrides. Now, instead of bombing you with a whole bunch of information, I'm going to show you some examples to show you how useful this whole entire feature is. So for me, I have a Discord server that I really like to talk about, Discord previews. But you can also see that it has a whole bunch of channels that I really do not care about. Do I want to talk to people? No. I'm antisocial. Now, if I was living back in 2023 with the old notification system, if I wanted to mute every single channel, except this build changes channel, I would need to right click a channel, mute channel until I turn it back on and do it for every, uh, I can barely even click on this thing. I'd have to do it for every single channel and category. I would rather get stomped on by Dennis in the SpongeBob movie, specifically around my waist area. And not just once, a hundred times. And I promise you it's all for the pain, no pleasure. But instead of doing all this whack stuff, instead with the new system. Genuinely game-changing here, but what I need to do is I just need to click on the server drop-down, go to notification settings. I'm going to change it to nothing because I don't want any notifications. I don't care if someone pings me. It's usually for not a good reason. And this is where we get to that final advanced part I was talking about. We have channel notification overrides. What I can do is I can select a channel that I care about. For example, it is the build changes. I click on that channel and now I want to get a notification for all messages. So putting it all together, that means that this whole entire server will have gray dots. I don't have to care about anything. And the only time I will get a white dot is if I get a new message, need to mark it as unread, you will see a white dot. And if I go to a different server, you will also see that white dot telling me there's a new Discord experiment that I need to talk about. Now that example was good for me, a chronically online Discord individual. I have never gone a day without Discord. Wow, that is really sad to say. <laughs> it's true. But this next example is for large, busy Discord servers that you like to engage with. But for example, we have my no text to speech Discord server. The second anyone sends a message, I can mark as red, and literally it, it comes back with a dot instantly. This will always show up and will be extremely annoying. But I don't want to just mute the server because I also want to see some of the channels and see if people are talking like, ooh, someone's talking in media. So again, go up to the top left, go to notification settings, and then the notifications panel will pop up. Now I'm going to set my notifications preset to mentions, where basically all the channels I don't care about will have the gray dot. I can see if they're active, but if I get pinged, I get that notification. And so since I get pinged a lot, I am, I'm, I'm gonna turn that off. Uh, I forgot. I also need to be a good father figure for my staff members that are angels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, once again, add a fancy little override. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the staff category and I'm gonna get that white dot for every single message. So it makes it extremely easy for me to see if I'm in Discord, whether or not my staff are slaving away for free. I mean, being wonderful volunteers because I could see this white dot, click on it, and whoa, turns out they're talking in staff chat. Oh, and finally, I also want to make sure that I have the announcements channel have notifications because I want to make sure my bots actually work. So I can right click on the channel, go to notifications, then go to custom, and then I need to click on custom and then unread badges. I can turn it on to mention only or all messages. In this case, I'm going to do all messages so I can see every single announcement as that ever so important white dot. So it should be pretty clear that this new notification system is great for servers that you usually just right click and mute because most of the time you don't care about the yap competition in servers, but you also stay in the server for important notifications like with what I did with Discord previews. So is this new notification system a perfectly balanced feature with absolutely no issues whatsoever? Well, uh, here's the thing. When we were first looking at the notification system, you will notice that it says experimental. This is a beta feature. You will inevitably have bugs. For example, when I was testing this out on my clients, all my notifications basically just got blown up. And what I had to do is I had to restart Discord to make sure everything got set properly. But again, if your Discord blows up because of a bug with this new notification system, Discord actually did care about you because you can go to your notification settings, you can turn off the experiment, and you can go back to your backup. And this is exactly how to turn it off if you want to turn it off. But there's still one more benefit to this notifications feature, and it's the fact that Discord allows you to use it on your mobile device. So if I go to this blog post, which I'll have linked in the description, and we scroll down long enough, you will see this mobile section where you get to change your notification settings for mobile by pressing on a server, then pressing on the 
notifications button, but you now have this new notification selection. You can do custom presets, you can customize whatever the heck you want. It is exactly like desktop. But the best part is that when you enable this feature inside of your desktop, it automatically works on your mobile device. And if you don't want to use the new notifications anymore, when you do turn it off, it'll turn off on your mobile device. And the last step of completely going back to your normal Discord would be going up to your extensions and removing Vencord. But I just want to say that Discord letting us use a beta feature and making it have a backup system is honestly awesome. We really appreciate this. Nerds like me love using beta features. Now I'm going to edit this video, and after I'm going to treat myself to a Shamrock Oreo McFlurry, because I have no self-control when it comes to ice cream. If haagen sponsored me with a lifetime supply of ice cream, diabetes would take my legs in two years, and I'd be dead by four years. Bye-bye. I love you. Mwah.